Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sheep Get Sheared podcast, home of people, politics, and popular culture. I'm your host, Austin Creed. I want to welcome you to the show. So, a topic that really was on my heart all of the day, you know, what's left of my heart. My heart froze over. But, you know, something that was on my mind was this idea that (laughs) I cannot go on YouTube or X or anywhere without seeing men talking about how they want women to be traditional again, how this is on a, this is unacceptable and women need to do this and do that, or women saying that men need to do this and do that. The whole thing to me is so stupid because one thing that I think all men need to understand is that feminism allowed you to do untraditional things. It is allowed you to have a fresh start because back in the day with the traditional society we had men were really no more than a a mule for the government to funnel funds through in the form of taxes and you were expected to marry a woman and whatnot young hey young dudes who listen to the show older dudes know what i'm talking about older men know what i'm talking about but the younger guys y'all don't know i didn't know either until i learned about this <laughs> but it comes down to it if you don't think that you had to marry somebody to get any intimacy back in the day this is 100 percent facts what you didn't realize is <laughs> The old, in the new days when you have apps like Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, all these outlets for options, back in the day, you didn't have none of that. You had to marry someone to get that kind of relationship. Now, you don't have to do that. And do you know who that is? Do you know who you can thank for that? Feminism. Yes, it it destroyed the traditional society we had Oh, quote unquote traditional. The traditionalism in and of itself is kind of based on a, on a fraud. But we'll ignore that because that's an entire different topic we could talk about another time. But the whole idea that things are horrible and you know we need this and we need that is just not true. Bottom line is this: if you think that if you wish hard enough that the times will just get better again, they won't. No, those days are long gone. But the good news is now you have the opportunity to start fresh. Because back in the day, like I said, (laughs) you had to marry a step, you had to, you know, be a stepdad, you had to be a father, you had to do these things to get intimacy. Now you don't have to do those things no more. Now you can be untraditional. Now you can do whatever the hell you want. Now you can have the ability to create a philosophy for yourself. You have the ability to be an individual. Back in the day, that was harder to do. You were more frowned upon. Versus now, you can do whatever the hell you want. Back in, you know, traditionally, if you want to talk about traditionalism all the time, like it's this wonderful, brilliant thing. First of all, it's not. That's number one. Of course, there are good parts of it. Don't get me wrong. However, just like everything else in life, there are pros and there are cons to everything. And anybody who tells you otherwise is just lying to you. Were there benefits of traditionalism? Oh, you betcha. Of course there is. However, if you think that someone who's married is getting a lot of sex, you're stupid. Look, that's the way it is. If you're single, you're getting more sex than if you're married. Most married people don't get jack. Just, just, just so we're clear. So that's number one. I don't know what to tell you if you think otherwise. You haven't seen it. I've seen it. I've seen married men. I've seen how they act. I've seen how they operate. Luckily, my parents are still married. I try not to stay. I try to stay out of that business because uh, I frankly don't want to know all too much about that because uh, it's going to be hard <laughs> be hard for me to not get involved at that point, and I, I don't want to be involved in that. But my friends, this idea that feminism is bad towards men, I, I understand where they're coming from with un, with saying that. The problem is they're wrong because feminism has allowed has allowed you to make a fresh start for yourself as a man. You're no longer required to 
go out there and say, oh, you have to be a traditional man and make an honest woman out of her. You don't have to do that anymore. Now, you have the ability to go be single, be a passport bro. Now you can be a, you can go out here and be a free agent. You can go out here and be a MGTOW. You can be anything that you want. You can be a biblical bachelor like I am. You can do whatever you want. But people want to argue about the biblical definition of marriage, and they want to argue about how feminism needs to go away, and if only people did this, and they did that, and they did this, and that, and the other thing, and all there, all over there, that everything would be great again. Well, (laughs) no, we passed that point. It's too late. It is too late for that. But you know what it's not too late for? It's not too late for you to adopt a new philosophy. It's not too late for you to decide who you want to become. That's not too late for that. If you want to be someone, you want to reinvent yourself, now is the time to do it. Because you can have the fresh start that other people in past generations have not had. And if you want to be traditional, then you can be a passport, bro. You can go to a country that has more of a traditional patriarchy. You can go to these countries if you want to do that. But in America today, you don't have that option anymore. First of all, most of it's based off of a myth. If you think that everybody in a marriage is happy, I don't know what world you're living in because it's not mine. (laughs) It's not this one. Most people who are married, who you think are entering a successful, wonderful relationship, they're actually, their marriage kind of sucks. They haven't been intimate in a while. They've had all kinds of problems. They're probably have, they're probably broke. They're probably dealing with all kinds of strife, probably marital counseling. You name it. There's all kinds of stuff going on that you don't know about. And that's the point. Feminism has freed men from the traditional shackles of society and has allowed you to now make a fresh start if you choose to do so. You can choose to go and be in the matrix. You can choose to do what everybody's traditionally done, but guess what? It's not going to look the same. You're not going to get the same results on this economy. Not with the current structure the way it is, not with all the reading rainbow people out here, not with all the not not with all the social justice warriors ready to pick up their keyboards and come after you. It's not going to be the same way, my friends. All the immigrants coming in here, can you believe I cannot believe that Trump had a rally a couple days ago. I think it was in Hawaii. He talks about how immigrants are invading the country, which is 100% true. 100% true. And then ABC has the nerve to say that he's, oh, he's a Nazi and he's using Nazi sentiments and he's a white supremacist. Hey, schmuck, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. Uh. He has a, his daughter married a Jewish man. She converted to Judaism. His, his grandchildren are Jewish. He's not a Nazi. He's not a white supremacist. He is not a white supremacist. He is a commonsensical human being. That's what he is. Oh, and for all of you who like Chris Christie, that, that mook bum, who his entire campaign is vote for me, I don't like Trump, you're a moron. As far as I'm concerned, Christie could never win. Anytime you see any money on the alphabet channels talk about how they like a candidate, they like him because they will, they can never win. That's why they like him. They like, a, they like candidates that can't win against the Democrat machine. That's what they like. So of course they're going to support a guy like Christie who couldn't win a campaign. I, I can run a campaign and do better than him. I can launch my campaign tomorrow. I'm too young to actually run for the presidency, mind you. But I guarantee you, if I ran, if I legally could run, I could run a better campaign than him. All I got to do is say what I say on this show every day. Spit the truth, because the truth has a way of being more explicit than triple X pornography. It's so rare to find someone who has the guts to say the truth, because everybody wants to take that medicine with a little bit of sugar, a little bit of sugar, salt, uh, artificial sweeteners and all that. I give you the bland straight medicine that'll get you better in three days instead of having to take this for three weeks and maybe you might feel better no no no. i'm not dose of medicine you take where you're like oh oh, man oh that's strong man oh boy but then the next morning you're like wow i feel great this is fantastic that's me 
That's what my message is. That's what being a biblical bachelor is. It's all about finding out who you are and what you want to become because that is the fresh start that feminism has done for you. Now, if you want to be a normie and you want to keep doing what you've always done, well, go ahead, go right ahead. I'm not going to stop you. Just know that when things don't work out for you and you want to come back and crying to me, Austin, this isn't fair. I thought that I thought that I would win because, you know, that's what everybody said to do. Um, did, were these everybody successful? Uh, no, they weren't, but, but they said it because, you know, if enough people say it, it has to be true. No, that's called the ad populum fallacy. That states that if enough people believe something, it's true. No, the truth has nothing to do with how many people believe it. It has everything to do with the fact that it's true and is verifiably correct, and that's all you need. It has nothing to do with how many people believe it. It has nothing to do with anything like that. And everything to do with the fact that it's just reality. Also, I'm sorry if you heard that. I'm uh, I'm outside again. I love being outside, by the way. It really helps you identify with more of the monkey side of the human existence. I gotta tell you the truth. But uh, I'm, I apologize if you heard that. You probably heard it really loud. I apologize to the headphone gang. You probably uh, just got absolutely destroyed. But my friends... I really want you to know that if you are trying to reinvent yourself, if you're trying to become somebody new, I totally understand that. I'm still going through a phase of reinventing myself. I totally understand where you're coming from. Just know you're not alone. But know that the results, the benefits far outweigh what you're sacrificing right now. I'll tell you that from personal experience. And I'm still sacrificing every day. Just know that it always gets better. You just have to be willing to sacrifice and go without for a little bit of time. Because you will win. It's impossible for you not to. You just can't give up. My friends, feminism has allowed you to have a fresh start, a fresh start as a man. The only person stopping you from taking it is you. I want you to take it. But only you can decide whether it's worth it for you or whether you want to go back to being a normie and hopefully eke out an existence. But You know, if there's any, if the internet has any indication, when you look at how divorces affect people, you either win big or you lose everything. So if you're willing to lose everything, potentially, go ahead, roll the dice if you so choose, spin the wheel. But when you spin the wheel, you risk the potential of losing everything. And that's up to you whether you want to do that or not. Because there's pros and minuses to everything. But I, what's stopping you from developing your own personal philosophy? You can be a biblical bachelor if you want. You can go MGTOW. You can go passport, bro. You can do whatever you want. But you have to have the courage to not let the deadbeats, the normies, and all the other people around you hold you back. Because they'll try. Trust me, they will. But at the end of the day, you're living with yourself a lot longer than you're living with anyone else. So you have to decide what matters more to you. My friends... Stay encouraged in these tough times. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless America. Have a great Christmas season. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for the Christmas show. I'll get back to you on that. But until then, my friends, God bless you. I'm out of here. Peace.